to be here and just see, uh, you know, just <laughs> the reality of being so far away from home and, and in such a difficult situation and, you know, the, the bravery and stoicism that every single one of the service members I've met shows is, uh, you know, truly inspirational. So, um, is there any particular part of the tour so far that you've enjoyed? I know you stood away from this one. Yeah, so far on the tour, uh, you know, I, they're, they're, I've enjoyed every point of it. Like uh, every single soldier we, we've encountered has just been just just so so pleasant to be around, and just so grateful that we're here, and, and, and just just the, and that in itself is just such a thank you, and just makes us feel good for being here. We're glad to be here to you know to, to be able to help to give back any little bit we can is uh, has definitely been a good feeling. Um, I've enjoyed every part of the trip. It, we've learned so much, we've seen so much. Uh, my personal favorite. I haven't seen this camp yet. My personal favorite was uh, I kind of liked hanging out at uh, Camp Moorhead. I don't know; those guys were those guys were pretty legit. That was, that was my next question because you've been able to see um, all the different types of soldiers. Yeah. So is it still is it surprising to you that even though they've got different jobs, they all kind of mesh the same way? Yeah, yeah, it's always surprising to see. You know, you meet, you meet, uh, you meet all these different soldiers, and you meet them in their personal life. But then, obviously, you know, they have a job as a soldier past that, and uh, you know, you can, it's just kind of—I uh, don't want to say strange, but just kind of uh, just well, maybe maybe a little strange just to see that like here's this person. You know, there's the the person that you're talking to is just a normal Joe, and then you know, and they need to they click over and performing their duties as necessary. And it's pretty interesting to see. Just that, uh, you know, they're soldiers. They're civilian soldiers, and they, and they, 
and cross that line when they need to. Okay. So um, my next question, from my last one. Um, all these guys say they appreciate you, but I've heard y'all tell a different story. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like I said. The, the welcome we've had here has been so warm from every single soldier we've encountered. They say thank you, thank you, thank you. But I can't say it enough, you know, thank you. Um, you know, I've been here, <laughs> I, I've been here for, you know, about a week. And uh, it's it's an experience, it's a little nerve wracking. And these guys come here and they do it, and they do it for, uh, they do it for, uh, they do it for their country. And they, they do it for a long period of time. And they do it in the face of danger, and they do it with a smile on their face. And that, you know, like I said, it's, it's truly something it's really something to behold. All right, so is there anything else you want to add? You know, maybe something I didn't ask you, or maybe you know, a shout out or whatever. Uh, no, not really any shout outs. Um, you know, just just the just the thank you as normal to all our service members. Um, this is uh, you know, it's it's, not, it's the understatement of the year to say this has been an eye-opening experience. So I'm uh, I'm happy to have been asked, honored to have been asked, and uh, hopefully. Uh, the guys here have enjoyed it as much as I have, and if we can come here and give them just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of break, a little bit of something, a reminder of home, then then my job is uh, my job has been fulfilled. Uh, PV2 Trevor Fay, 92nd Military Police Company. All right, um, can you tell me kind of what happened today? Like what's going on? What you came uh, here for? Today we are in Kabul, Afghanistan, with. Jake Ellenberger and Amir Sadala, along with Stitch and some other MMA junkie guys that they run the radio talk show. We had some sparring, some striking skills, some jiu-jitsu skills, and at the end we roll with the professionals. Okay, so um, actually like after seeing them on television and everything, and then you heard about them that they were gonna come here, what were your like your first thoughts? I was pretty excited. I'm a huge UFC fan. I try to watch every fight I train back home. So getting to roll with these guys and getting to meet them, true pioneers of the sport, it's a real honor. Okay, so um, so y'all did some training with them. I mean, did they teach you something you didn't already know, like little tricks or something, you know? Uh, they taught me uh, better ways to set up a darts choke and an easy way to get mount from the uh, side control position. Okay, so, um, and then here at the end, actually getting to roll with them, and I saw you did with Amir a couple of times, that had to be a great feeling. Amir, he, uh, he, he lives about, he's from about three hours away from where I live in uh, Virginia. And rolling with him is a great honor. He's, he knows a lot. He won the Ultimate Fighter. He taught me some submissions from the front, head, the front headlock that nobody else here got to learn today. It was real great to roll with him and Jake. I feel like them coming over here so, uh, says a lot about their personality, their character. They support our troops. And the majority of our troops nowadays support them. And I, it's just great they came over here. And I know training back home myself, it's a lot to fight in the case. And they, they gave it up to come see us and help us out. So they took time out of their training schedule and getting better. Jake has a fight coming up, and he took time out of training to come be with the troops. So that's a real, real honor. I just want to thank the MWA and the UFC for allowing these guys to come out here. Their coaches, I want to thank Jake, Amir, and Stitch, and uh, MMA Junkie guys for coming out and showing their support for the troops. And it was a real honor to get to roll with them.